Baha'i faith was born in 1863 in Persia, founded by the spiritual leader Baha'u'llah. The religion, however, was not accepted by society. Baha'u'llah was banished from his native Iran, being exiled to Iraq and Turkey before being sentenced to prison in Acre. Baha'u'llah was going to be exiled with his family. But there were also those followers who could not bear the idea of uh, being separated from their beloved. So in total, there were uh, about 70 people who uh, came to Akka. After 15 years of repeated exiles, Baha'u'llah and his followers arrived in Acre on August 31st, 1868, exactly 150 years ago. During this time, Acre was in poor condition and used by the Ottoman Empire as a penal colony. Upon arrival, Baha'u'llah named the city the most great prison. Three days after the arrival of Baha'u'llah and the exiles in the city, um, the edict, the farman of the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire was read in this mosque. It stated that uh, Baha'u'llah was to be imprisoned here for life and uh, that he was forbidden of associating with anyone. Baha'u'llah and his family were immediately imprisoned. However, the usual jail cells were too small for the large group. The barracks were originally used for the Turkish troops. However, because there were a large number of people, about 17 total, they needed a larger space to accommodate all of them, so they brought them here to the barracks. While in prison, Baha'u'llah wrote many religious texts. Meanwhile, his followers in Persia continued to live by his teachings, hoping to meet their leader once more. Baha'u'llah's arrival in Akka reached uh, Persia, his uh, native land. Uh, many of the followers of Baha'u'llah decided to undertake a journey to uh, come to Akka and attain the presence of Baha'u'llah. So they would walk uh, for months on foot until they would arrive uh, here. Uh, but unfortunately, they were arrested and interrogated as they were recognized as uh, followers of Baha'u'llah and they would be rejected from the city. During the two years Baha'u'llah spent in this jail cell, religious pilgrims would wait on a hill outside the prison behind the city walls, trying to get a small glimpse. They would stand and they would wait for the family of Baha'u'llah to recognize them, at which point uh, they would ask Baha'u'llah to come to their room and acknowledge their presence. This was enough uh, for them to return to their native land re-energize. As time passed, Baha'u'llah's sentence became gradually more relaxed. After nine years inside Acre, Baha'u'llah and his family were allowed to move to an estate just outside the city. The house was built uh, by Udi Hamar, who uh, was living there in 1879, but there was a plague and he had to flee, and shortly after he passed away. Uh, Baha'u'llah's eldest son, uh, Abdul Baha, he was able to rent this place, and this is where Baha'u'llah spent the last 13 years of his life. 150 years later, this spot is called Baji. The holy site is surrounded by beautiful gardens. Today, thousands of Baha'i pilgrims travel to the Holy Land every year, visiting the Baji and retracing Baha'u'llah's footsteps through Acre.